it doesn't really matter which iPhone you guys got, it's gonna be the exact same instructions for all of you. We're gonna go on and turn on our Apple Watch. We just have to hold on to the power button. So that's this button right here. So if you're powering this on for the very first time, that's what you need to hold on to until you see the Apple logo. If you don't see that, just let it charge a little bit more. And then we just leave it, leave it, and it's gonna tell us to just have it beside our phone right here. So we're just gonna leave it beside our phone. Then we want to have our iPhone, Bluetooth, and everything turned on, Wi-Fi as well, so it detects it. So right now it just detected everything. We're good to go, we can go on with the setup. Press on continue, and here we go. So the first screen you're gonna see is this, just press on allow. Then I guess this does depend on you guys, if you're setting up for a family member or for yourselves. Most likely it's for yourselves, so go for your first option. So at this point it's gonna ask you to scan, so you will see this right here. You're gonna see your camera, so just place it on top. It's gonna scan that. It's very important that you can scan that, so that way you can pair. So right now it's pairing, as you guys can see. And I turned down my lights, just so you guys can see the screen better, but don't turn on your lights. <laughs> so set up Apple Watch, then we're gonna see this. Which hand do you guys use your watch on? So in my case, it's usually my right hand. You guys can change this later on. By the way, all these preferences, this whole setup, we can change later on in our settings. You can do that from your phone or from your Apple Watch. It's usually easier from your phone itself. Go continue this right here. Again, you guys can go on and change this later on. All right, so this part. This part just means, see this right here, this button? That's how you guys can know what's going on here. It's gonna show you in these pictures what you guys want to be the upside. So I'm gonna put on my watch like this. So that means I want this to be the top, which that means I'm gonna select the second option. That's for me. You guys can select whatever you would like. Press agree. You can add a passcode. So does this mean you have to put in a passcode anytime you want to look into your Apple Watch? No, it's only when you take it off, then it's gonna require that. Once you have it on you, it's not gonna ask for that passcode, so it's not gonna get annoying. So what I recommend is always adding a passcode just in case you lose it or anything like that. So right here on your phone, it's gonna say create passcode. And on your actual Apple Watch, you have to type that in. So it's four digits, or you can create a longer one if you like. Once you put in that passcode, you're gonna go to this right here. So it's good to have your Apple Watch right beside you so you know what's going on. You can do bold text, you can do smaller text. For me, this text is really big. Let me just show you. You can move this around, make it bigger, 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 or smaller, 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 or really tiny. In my case, I like it just around there. I'm gonna go into continue on. And this right here is just telling you that it's sharing your settings between the two, which is perfect. Right here, you can go on and set this up right now. This is just to personalize your fitness and health. You don't have to. You can just go into continue on without setting up anything. Plus you do have the wheelchair option at this point as well. All right, so once you press continue, you're gonna see this screen. This is for your activity. You guys can set that up later or right now. It's just to keep you moving if you want. So let's just show you how that works. You can always skip that. So right here, you can set up your goal of what you want, how many calories. I'm gonna go into how active I would like to be. Well, highly active, but we're actually gonna do that because I do wanna be highly active. I don't think that's that much actually. So we're gonna set move goal, daily exercise goal. You can set up 30 minutes or less, doesn't matter. So here is our daily stand-up goal. So just standing. I think this is a bit much, but we're just gonna set it up. Now you can go ahead and set up to track, but you don't have to, you can just disable track. I recommend tracking. Now this is for notifications. I think it's good to have them on. They get annoying, you can turn them off later on. I'm gonna continue on. It's gonna ask you some personal information, like are you taking like this stuff right here? That, uh, for me at least, no, luckily. Safety, we're just gonna continue on. And right now, instead of paying with your phone, you could pay with your Apple Watch, which is awesome. So you can set up that later in the app, or we can continue on right now. We're just gonna set that up later on, the payment always on display. That just explains what that is. Now, this is up to you, what you like. You like a list view of things or this grid. Again, you can change this up later on if you wanna change your mind. I think the grid view is awesome to just scroll through things. Uh, you do kind of have to guess what they are just uh, based on upon how they look like. And right here, if you pick this list view, it does tell you which one, what is each one. So if you're really new to iPhones, I would select this. 
if you had an iPhone before, then this will make sense. You're just gonna get the hand of it really quick. So right now it's syncing. And this is basically the most important part because right now it's syncing your iPhone to your Apple Watch. At this point, we can just tap on get to know your watch, which is good. And you can see exactly what you can do. You can explore more stuff. And we're just gonna hit undone. That's something to do. Now device added to your account, okay. Our Apple Watch will just restart in a minute. And yes, this will tell us once it's done. So you can just let it be for now and then come back to it. All right, so once it's ready, you're gonna see a screen. If you don't have it on, you have to type in your passcode. And yeah, you're gonna just see that screen. On your phone, on the other hand, you're gonna see this. Just go okay. So right here, you can change your faces and do a lot of customization. So for example, you can tap here and you can change it through all this. You have a bunch of stuff here. And right here, you can even customize even more. So there's a lot of stuff. Plus you can even remove watch face. So that's interesting. There's also a gallery where you can go and just check those out. There's a ton of them. There's really nice ones. So let me just show you this one, for example. You can set it up with a uh, gray, green. There's lots of stuff. I'm just gonna add this just to show you. So it's being added to our faces. So right now that's being added, we can just go on and take a look at more stuff here. There's a lot to go through and a lot of options you guys can go through and change up. So make sure to check those out. But as far as the setup, you're pretty much done. You're ready to go and just use your Apple Watch. Anytime you wanna change anything, you could do it from your Apple Watch or you can go into your phone and just look for this app that's called Watch and just take care of any changes right there. But right now you guys can see the face that I chose, it changed to that already. So here it is, that's how it looks like. And we're pretty much done with this setup. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.